Hello everyone, welcome back to PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we finished up Lost City Part 2. This time, before we begin Dark Ages, I think we're going to start off with a new mini game. Now, I did say I was going to go in order. So we, what we have here is Gold Capture. And this one says the easy version. And this one also only has two levels. So depending on how long this takes me, um, I possibly will do a, another mini game as well. Probably another shorter one. But yeah, let's give this one a shot. No idea what to expect here. I'm assuming these two levels are probably going to take me the whole episode, though. We'll have to see. Oh, why did I not read that? Uh, what did that say? Survive with a special seed bank. Get a banana launcher to destroy the gravestone before the final wave. Get a banana launcher. Oh. They're giving me a tier 2 banana launcher. And what are these spots? I guess I can't plant those. I see two gold tiles. Do I not have sun producers? They're not giving me sun producers, it would seem. Hmm. Now looking at the zombies, I am noticing... <sighs> the one that stands out to me is Surfer Guy. Because I feel like... <sighs> I have to get sun from these gold tiles, it would seem. Because I don't see any other sun producers. Oh, they're giving me Toadstool, though. Maybe... I think I might try Toadstool, because he can give me sun. And plus, he can gulp down some of the zombies instantly, I'm pretty sure. Now, I know the surfboard guys, I think if they're killed with fire, they don't drop their surfboards. So, I think... Hmm. I think, I'm thinking what I'm going to do. My idea is probably going to put be to put torchwoods on the, um... Yeah, put torchwoods on the tiles, and then maybe, like, I don't know, pr primal peas, or... I'm going to guess that Peapod, I'm probably not going to have time to build up, so it's probably not good. Maybe just like Primal P, and then maybe like two instants. Like, let's try these two. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, yeah, hopefully that works out. I, yeah, I'm super worried about getting a whole bunch of sun now. Oh, they're giving me a whole ton of sun right off the bat, I just noticed. Let's put you there, let's put you there. Let's work toward there. Oh, oh, wait. How often do these gold tiles give me sun? Oh, this is like way faster than normal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure gold tiles aren't supposed to give you this sun that fast. So let's delay that wave. Uh, probably gonna put toastals right behind the spots right there. Let's put a primal P right there. Let's freeze you again. Again, may as well just delay the wave for as long as possible. Okay, let's put Primal P there. And then we'll have to freeze that guy. Or no, I probably can Red Stinger kill the other guy. And we'll put Red Stinger there for him. There we go. Torchwood is on the case now. So that row should be good for like a while, because that's quite a bit of damage. And also, you know, a Torchwood. These are giving me quite a bit of sun. Probably want to get more toadstools out. Though, because I want to get sun going. Oh, they don't seem to gulp down the basic zombies. Oh, he did just- oh! He did just gulp down some- I think it was the bug zombie he just gulped down. Yeah. It's, how am I gonna say- I don't- I have to be really careful about how I save up my son here. I guess maybe I should wait to see when a bug spawns to put one down. Like, oh yeah, like right here. Yeah, that seems quite good.
Oh, I didn't even see that surfer guy in the top. Uh, what am I dealing with here? Probably should stun this. I see a lot going on there. Let's put Primal P down here. I'm actually gonna freeze that surfer guy. Oh, he still gets to put his surfboard down. That sucks. Okay, let's put Toadstool here, because I see that Cage Dude. I don't really want to deal with Cage Dude. Okay, when do I decide to start saving up my son? That is the big question. Yeah, these Toast Tools are so good. Getting the extra sun. Oh, wait, we might need help here. Freeze you. Dude, are you kidding me? He still got through. He still killed. He somehow got a surfboard to go right there. Can't believe I have to replace that guy. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna try and save up my son right now. I think we got a decent placement in all the rows right now. Ideally, I kind of want another toadstool in the second row. Oh, you know, I'm gonna. I'll do it now. I see an octopus guy. Oh shoot. Oh, oh it was too late on that. Oh, he can eat the octopus dude in one hit. Interesting. Yeah, I might have to let that first top row go because I don't want to spend a whole lot on it. Let's freeze cone head here. So how much health does this thing have? The zombie here. Oh, she was only she was almost dead anyway. Yeah, that, that didn't help at all. Uh, please don't eat that. Dang it. I'm gonna need to freeze the top cone head. Maybe yeah, I can still salvage that row. I think. Oh, I'm so close. 1500. Oh, come on, dude. You can't destroy my Torchwood. I need that. Okay, nice. We got it. Boom. Oh, he still ate my freaking red stinger. That sucks. Okay, well, we made it. We got the banana launcher out. I just gotta defend the top row somehow. Uh, yeah, probably that there's a surfboard in the way right now. Oh my gosh. Dude, okay, I need the sun right now for like a toad school. Thank you, okay. Yeah, let's try and freeze Octopus Guy. No, I needed that, dude. Yeah, we, we definitely need to keep the Octopus Guy frozen. Come on, dude. Stop doing that. Stop destroying all my things. Okay. I'm just going to fast forward through this because it seems like we basically have this. Also, it seems kind of weird how the tongue just got like stuck there. Oh, I have the banana launcher. What am I doing? Boom. 
Could have been using the banana launcher this whole time. What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright, uh... Yeah, that's step one. Let's play step two now. That was a nice, fun level. Let's see, what do we got here now? Oh, it's the same thing again. Wait, is it the exact same thing? Oh, no. It's not. Well... This is the exact same seed bank, isn't it? Well... Dang. I don't think Toadstool is gonna be useful anymore. You know, I need I need to look up what Toadstool like what exactly Toadstool can eat, because I'm a bit confused on that. Um If the zombie is an animal zombie, a flying zombie, an imp, or a Cleopatra zombie, she will instead gulp it down identical to Chomper. Animal zombie? Well, we have imps, but they're campers. I don't think that's going to be necessary here for this level. Hmm. Also, did the gold tiles move up? I don't think they were that far forward last time. Hmm. Or maybe they were. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm so... I don't know what to do about these mech zombies. And the turquoise skull guy. Oh, we also have these guys that swing in and do stuff. Hmm. Man, I wish I had spike weed. Why can't the game give me spike weed? <laughs> I will say, at least the octopus guys and surfboard guys are gone. Those guys are so annoying. I just wish there were more counters to these guys. It can't really do anything against them. Hmm. I'm thinking like cauliflower might be useful, but I'm just thinking how am I ever gonna get enough sun to get those guys out? I think Red Stinger's pretty good too, because I'm trying to keep the sun cost low. Maybe EM Peach as well. But I need something decent for damage. Maybe Chomper? Chomper might be good. And a Walnut. Yeah, we'll do, we can try like Walnut Chomper combo. And then. Hmm. I guess just Iceberg Lettuce. Well, actually, no, I probably should use Stunion, because... What do you mean I haven't chosen... Of course I haven't picked any sun-producing plants. There are no sun-producing plants. Okay, let's put this guy up here. Yeah, ideally I, could, I would want to get a... Uh... I'm gonna try and put like a walnut on top of the things and then put a chopper behind him. Okay, immediately coming in the rows. I'm not prepared against. Well, actually, no, I. Okay, Red Stinger's hitting that guy. I don't know if I want to chomper this guy straight away or not. So I won't be delaying the wave. Hmm. Yeah, we'll stun in him for a moment. And as soon as it wears off, I'll try and put a chomper down. I do like how fast these gold tiles come out, though. Let's put a walnut there, stall that guy. And walnuts feel like they have like no HP. I feel like Chomper might have been a mistake. Oh, especially against that guy. Yeah, I need like the Chomper needs to be like this close to get that guy. 
Oh man, the Chomper has such terrible- Why did I bring Chomper? This seems like such a bad idea. Cauliflower is almost off cooldown, and I... Mm hmm. Come on, give me one more sun, thank you. Let's put this out now. Okay, let's, uh, one at this guy. Stunning these two. Oh, that is a good hypno. Oh, that is a really good hypno as well. Oh my god, Kali Power is on fire right now. It's, oh my, it's going so good. So good. Yo, what if I get, what if when I hypnotize an importer, maybe he can set up a camp that's like, produces zombies for me too. That'd be awesome. I seriously doubt that's a thing. Yeah, it feels so good to get a Kali power out. Oh shoot, I need something to deal with this guy. It's not, I didn't see that guy walking across the bottom there. So I might have to stun these guys. Oh no, you got the buck head, which is important. The Robocone, we got, I think we got pretty much rely on the Robocone getting hypnotized. Now here's the question, do I get the banana launcher right now, or I just keep, or, or sorry, not a cauliflower right now, or do I save up for the banana launcher? Yes, did he get the cone? No, he didn't get the cone, he got the regular zombie shoot. Okay, no, oh, I wasted that stun in. I mean, like, how was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Yeah, screw I'm gonna get a second Kali power out. I think it's gonna be worth it. I think it's gonna be a, a worthy investment. Yeah, see, like, I'm, I'm almost back up to 500 as well. I do, I will, I do want to put a walnut there in front of that chomper. Oh shoot, I'm so glad the Kali Power caught that because I wasn't ready for that guy. Excuse me, stupid football good dude. Oh, that doesn't even affect that guy. Okay, good, we hypnotize him though. We're gonna need to eat this guy before he does. He destroys both plants at once. But yeah, that that um, chomper will definitely die later. Oh, am I gonna be? I don't know if I can afford the banana launcher. Oh man, this might be close. Definitely can't afford to get a whole lot more. Uh, see, I, I wish I could didn't spend money on that, but I kind of had to. Ow, what the heck, dude. I need to put something on the tile to get sun. Oh, I know, I didn't get it. Well, I, I just realized that I have all this plant food and I never used it. Oh! No! Okay, guys, I'm back. So yeah, honestly, the strategy hasn't changed too much. I just have to be better at the game, I, I think. Uh, yeah, the, so yeah, the biggest concern is the mechs are just so terrible to deal with. I'm considering just getting a tier 3 sapling, because they're just so cheap, and I have so much space on this map that uh, I definitely think it's worth it to like slow everything down. Uh, 
And yeah, I'm gonna use the Claw Power to deal with the mechs, because yeah, they're just unstoppable otherwise. And then Chomper's gonna hold down the gold tiles, hopefully, and deal with the Crystal Skull guys immediately. That's my plan, anyway. Uh, what else? And, yeah, I don't think I need Stonian as well. I think just an Iceberg Lettuce is good enough. Yeah, so let's give that a shot. Red Stinger in the top. It will hold down that line for a fairly long time. Let's put Iceberg Lettuce down. So we start generating sun like ASAP. And yeah, I basically just really want to delay like the zombies like for as long as possible. So the tier... The sapling is going to be really important. So yeah, that guy we're just going to try and not let move at all. And I and also I really want to get one color power out. I don't think two is going to be necessary. Okay, now we put one down there. Let's freeze that bucket head. I think now I want to deal with that zombie. Munch. And hopefully the sapling is enough to deal with that bucket head. While the chomper chews. Actually, I might have to freeze that bucket head once. Yeah, I'm just really hoping the sapling is going to be able to deal with the mechs. Because they're just so... They're so annoying to deal with. They freeze you. Because that guy needs to finish chewing. Okay, we'll have to put a second one down. Freeze that guy. Let's get another sapling out for this one. And now we can put a collie power down. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Okay, nice. You got the bucket head hypnotized. Collie power is going to hopefully carry us through the rest of this. Yeah, I think sapling is just such a good combo. Um, with the Call of Power, you know, just gives him more time to hypnotize things. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do double. Oh shoot. The walnut down for you. I, th I think a double Red Stinger at the top should make me not have to use um, Chompers up there. So I won't have to worry about that. Yeah, I think now I just want to start trying to get a banana launcher. I don't think a second color power is necessary, however, it will be super helpful. I think I spent too much sun as it is. This guy, I'm gonna have to freeze. Although, you know what, I probably. Uh, I need a iceberg lettuce like right now. So I do kind of want to try and do a uh, plant food effect on an iceberg lettuce. There we go. And that should give the Kali Power and the Chompers time to, like, reset. That's probably the best use of plant food, though, let's be fair. Yeah, I'm thinking the mech is hopefully gonna get hypnotized. Like that's the only way I can really deal with him. Okay, we're we're doing pretty good on sun actually. We're almost to a fifteen hundred. Plus the banana launch will help us through like with the rest of the game too. Freeze that guy. Okay, nice, we got the Hypno on him. We're so close, come on. Nice, okay. Destroy that. And the objective is done. We just add a 
beat the game now. Oh shoot, don't eat my banana launcher, I just got that. And when the final wave comes out, I can just plant through the banana launcher and just be done with it. Kill all that. I wonder how the laser guy works when he's under my control. Does he blast zombies? Come on, let's start that final wave already. I'm itching to go. Okay, we're gonna definitely blow up these guys. Alright, here we go. We, we got two plant food for this wave. And we, get, and we can do that again! Boom! All right. So that was gold capture. That was both the levels. That was normal version. All right. We got some mints for it. Nice. What did that? Say? I didn't read what that said. I just skipped it for some reason. Did I unlock more, or are these all new? I don't know. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for watching me play Gold Capture. Uh, that was quite an interesting mini game. I kind of wished it was like different, you know, for the second part. But yeah, it was fine. I, I kind of like how they changed up the zombies. I enjoyed it. It was definitely a fun mini game. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I think I probably am gonna do another mini game. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do garlicor, garlicor, liquor. Uh, because that one was so short and only took one episode to do. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for that next time. I'll talk to you later. Bye.